Bulls, I'm Giselle Medina and welcome back to another Bulls TV. Now, first thing we're going to start off with some health information. Now, flu season is right around the corner and as you know, COVID is still around. So let's see what Emily and Hiddle suggest for us to stay healthy this season. Staying safe this fall and winter is very important in times like these. As flu season approaches alongside COVID-19, there are many steps you can take to prevent from getting sick. A way of preventing the flu is to get your flu shot. This way you are at lower risk of getting it than others. Where can you get your flu shot? You can get your flu shot at your local CVS, Walgreens, Target, Smiths, or you can make an appointment with your doctor. Make sure you are covering your cough and sneeze when you are around other people. Washing your hands is very important during COVID-19 and flu season. While the virus is still alive, it is important that you are taking the necessary precautions. Don't forget to wear a mask. By wearing a mask, you are protecting yourself and others from getting sick. Finally, make sure you are always maintaining six feet apart to ensure you are never too close to someone. Do not go out in groups, only if it's imperative. Times have changed, but with your help, we can end this pandemic. Thank you guys. Now let's move on to communication. During this time, it is very important to stay connected with your teachers. And one of the best ways is via email. And if you don't know how to do that, don't worry about it because Stephanie and Destiny is gonna show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hey Bulls. So today me and Stephanie are gonna teach you guys how to send an email to your teachers step-by-step. Step. Here we go. In order to write an email, you first start off with going to whatever email source you have such as Yahoo or Gmail. After that, you simply click Compose. Then it'll ask you to whom you wish to send this email to, that being a teacher, staff member, or whomever. Underneath, it'll say Subject. That is intended for whatever the email is meant for, such as a missing assignment or an absent request. Then you simply write the email and click Send. Thank you for watching and be sure to email your teachers about anything you need. Thank you so much for that, guys. And just as it's important to stay in communication, it is also important to be productive during online. So Ulyssa and Olivia are going to show us some ways to be productive during online school. So let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah. Oh! Huh? Hello? Bro, I know exactly. That stuff's crazy. Who doesn't pay attention to your thoughts? I don't know. It's weird. That's for Nice to know you. Thank you guys for that. And guys, that is all the time I have for you today. But make sure you're keeping on track, staying communicating with your teachers. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.